come and meet people. Victoria Caprioni knows her neighbors. Year and a half, maybe 10 years, new couple, new um, immigrants. But she's worried they don't know each other. And that's not the sign of a strong neighborhood. So Victoria came up with a plan to change that. It wasn't exactly a lightning strike, but it was just an idea like as I stood on my front stoop. What if everyone in St. Paul came out to their streets at the same time? <laughs> Is it six yet? And said hello to their neighbors. Cost us nothing. And it's a good idea. Let's 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 do it. St. Paul Commander Kurt Hallstrom made it happen. And we got the ball rolling. So why do this tonight? Well, because it's been exactly a month since one of the more disturbing days in recent memory in St. Paul. Five Mondays ago began a stretch of three killings in nine hours as St. Paul's murder rate continues to rise above its highest total in a decade. It's been rough for the community. It's good to have people like Victoria that care and want to you know, want to do something. Well, there's Jeremy and <laughs> Kelly. Victoria managed to draw a small crowd. We need to get to talking and getting to know our neighbors. Not bad for the first night. The more people you know in your neighborhood, the more people are going to keep an eye on things and the safer you feel. You know, if there's anything you can do to kind of help spur this along. Victoria yeah. hopes she can make this a monthly thing and that it catches on. Just to come out, stand usually out in front of their house for one to five minutes and see who else comes out at six o'clock. Because you know there's that phrase. You know when they say it takes a village, I think that's really true. You know, when we have that kind of interaction, our children are much safer.